Good night, sir. Come in, Drew Pierre thing. There we are. <laughs> What's this? I thought you said we was going to an hotel. This is a nick. Well, simmer down, old boy. Don't think of it as a cop shop. Think of it as your friendly neighbourhood bed and breakfast. Oh, I don't know, college. I wouldn't feel comfortable dossing in a nick. Well, it's either that or freezing to death in that extremely unsalubrious public convenience on the embankment. <laughs> yeah, all right, college. I'll leave it to you. <laughs> Oi, you too. What do you want? Oh, good evening, officer. My name is St. John Orpington Budworth, and this is my chauffeur, Grom. <laughs> Oh, yes? Yes, unfortunately, my rose is broken, darling. Your rose? Yes, we were on our way back from a party given by the Marchioness of Berkhamsted, and Rob will tell you... Fisher. All right, college. Fear off, go on, sling a rook. Well, 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 if it isn't the horse's sweetheart. <laughs> the ever-popular Sergeant Grubbit. Now, look, college, I'll rephrase my request, if you like. Sling your rook, please. Do my ears deceive me? Grammit, old fellow, this isn't the reception I've come to expect from you. Now, nah, look, don't muck about. I'm telling you, you're not going to get a free kip here tonight or ever again. I've got a new inspector now, and he's dead hot on that sort of thing. Try Savile Row or Bow Street, but you're not flopping here. Come on, college, we'd better start. Just a moment. Don't be silly. He's only playing hard to get. <laughs> Take a good look at him, Fisher. That's college, that is. Good evening. The fanciest tramp in London. <coughs> Watch out for him. Soon as the weather turns cold, he's round here trying to scrounge your bed. He's a cell ponce, that's what he is. Say, <laughs> steady on, old chap. Now, you're not getting past me. Those cells are for offenders only. Well, then allow me to offend. Now, let us see. What unsold transgressions have we in the book this evening? <laughs> oh, my word. She didn't, did she? <laughs> yeah, she did. <laughs> the Bishop of Erith. <laughs> Yes, he, he wonder he didn't break a leg. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? Hello? Oh, have we got him? Uh, nobody, sir. They're just about to leave. Wait a minute. I know that face, don't I? Oh, good evening, Inspector. I... Oh, yes, I've got you now, chummy. You're that aristocratic herb who always wants to come in out of the cold. I remember you from Cannon Row. That's right. And we will be glad of Her Majesty's hospitality overnight. Oh, no, you don't. Not on my manor. Sergeant, get him out of here. And if I find he's got himself tucked away for the night, I shall hold you responsible. Got it? Yes, sir. Right. You heard what he said. Sugar off. <laughs> now, just a moment. You allege that these cells are for the exclusive occupation of the criminal classes, right? Right. So, if my friend and I commit a crime, we become eligible for those desirable lodgings, right? Wrong. Because there's no crime you could commit, up to and including murder, that could get you past me and into those cells. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's been a long day. Now, go on, college. Hop. It's no good you hanging about. my helmet. No, I didn't. Huh? Well, yes, I did. <laughs> yes, I felt like it. No. Go on, Drew, help yourself. Is it all right? Dig in. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm going to do to you two? Yeah? I'm going to nick you both for assaulting a police officer. Yeah, and you'll probably spend the next six months in them cells, won't they, Sarge? No, they won't. Yeah. <laughs> what? I never done nothing. <laughs> what, about, what about my helmet? It was an accident. <laughs> and I'm prepared to go into court and give evidence to that effect. Pardon me. Yeah, I've got to have a cup of tea. Scotched that one, didn't I? Yes, yes, you did very well. <laughs> but supposing I was to go like this. <laughs> what would you do then? I wouldn't do nothing. <laughs> There's nothing happened. Very well. I have your arm, please. Now, supposing I was to take your sleeve like that. <laughs> 
Pam, what would you do? It fell off. <laughs> Workmanship. I see. <coughs> Supposing I was to go. I'll beat you to it, you know. You're proving very stubborn, you know. Well, I don't suppose you could overlook a case of petty larceny, could you? What do you mean? Because I'm going to pinch this fire extinguisher. No, you're not. Because I'm giving it to you. <laughs> With my compliments. Zoopy. We've met our Waterloo. <laughs> Sergeant, we salute you and bid you adieu. Kindly send all information and letters to the public loo, Victoria in Dan. <laughs> Hello, Miss Sarge. What's happened to you? I just won a battle, lad. They won't be coming round here again. <laughs> Two lumps in the cocoa in the morning, Sarge. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> well, that's it once again for this week, and I'll see you in seven days' time. Bye.